To the right is one of, of the possible modified bingo cards that satisfy the following conditions. It tells you the column B only has numbers from 1 to 15. Column I only has numbers from 16 to 27. Column N has only numbers from 28 to 43. Column G has numbers only from 44 to 57. Column O only has numbers from 58 to 75. And with bingo cards, the numbers will be unique. And the question is, how many different O columns are possible? And order is important in bingo, the order of the columns. So this is a lot of information, but the question narrows it down considerably because the question only asks about O columns. So nothing else on that whole card matters. Nothing about B, nothing about I, nothing about N, nothing about G. None of that matters. It only asks about the O column. So when you see a problem with lots of information, if there's something in the problem that allows you to ignore any part of the information, you're ahead of the game. So basically, I could forget everything but the O column. Now I feel better that there's not so much information. I'm not feeling information overload anymore. So I can focus. It says the O column must contain only the numbers 58 through 75. And you notice this is just one possible way that they could have laid out. If you did it again, you'd get a different set of numbers. But all those numbers are between 58 and 75. So the question is, how many different O numbers are possible? Well, think about it this way. If you took your O column and just turned it into a row, you've got, you've got to fill this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, and this spot. So really, it's a, multi, it's a fundamental counting principle problem. If you can find out how many ways you can fill this first spot, which is represented by this position, and multiply it by how many ways to fill the second spot, which is this position, go all the way down the line, the product of those will be the answer. So what I've got to know is how many numbers are there between 58 and 75. In other words, what are my pool of choices? How many numbers can I choose for each position? So I've got to figure out how many numbers there are between 58 and 75. One way I could do it is just write 58, 59, 60, 61, and go all the way to 75. Well, that would take a little while. But I also know that I can count the number of consecutive integers by just taking the largest minus the smallest and adding one. We've learned that before. So the largest number is 75. The smallest number is 58, and if you subtract and add 1, you end up with 18. Now, you could write them all out and count them. It would be 18 of them. But if you just remember, it's largest minus smallest plus 1. You can get that more quickly. So what you're doing is you're, you're choosing from 18 numbers, and you're putting them one at a time in their slots. But you can't reuse a number. That's the key. And order is important. If you can't reuse a number and order is important, that means permutation. So it's a permutation of those 18 integers, and we're taking them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at a time. So this is simply a permutation of the 18 numbers 5 at a time. n is 18, r is 5. The calculator keystrokes, enter 18, shift 1 is for permutation, enter the 5, and then equal to calculates that, and you'll come up with 1,028,160. There are a lot of permutations possible just for row O.